McGregor VIPs out. Beautiful clubs. That's 300 shaft. So I'm hit about five shots with these. And then I made about five shots with my dimensionally fit Avion Redbirds. Right? So what I'm just looking for is just um, spin numbers, really. Impact a little, look at that, a little high. All right, smash factor 1.37. So I'm looking at just simple things today. Don't try to do too much with them. All right, here we go. Not bad. It's the difference, blades are blades, right? You know they're not. Behind it. Call it a cheat shot. A little bit heavier shaft. I haven't played um S300s in years. Played the S400, but I haven't played the S300 in years. Alrighty. Smash Factor lost five points on that. That's pure. Right down the middle. Pure shot right there. I bet it's come up pure probably. Yeah, it came up pure. So three three draws and three pure. Takes the path. I zeroed it out. Jack angle 2.8. Smash factor back up to 1.37. With the iron. There we go. What is that? Shot number six. Get one more. Get the ball. Turned it a little bit. I felt the toe shut down just a tad. Let's see. This will be interesting on this one. Get the center of the club face. Spins a little low. Face the path. Yeah, face the path is really good, but I've done a lot of work on that. All right, now we're gonna to go to um, the Avion Redbird. Which is night, night and day. Now we're talking from 130 gram shaft to a 100 gram shaft. That's match set right here. I can feel a difference already in the weight. Yeah, huge difference. Just uh, top of the 100 gram shaft versus uh, um, 130 gram shaft. Base zeroed out again. Nice center contact. Smash back to 1.38. Club head speed went up. Ball speed went up nine miles an hour. Club head speed went up almost five miles an hour. Just by going to like a 100 gram shaft versus a 130 gram shaft. And I get the same um, characteristics in a lighter shaft. The Oban CT100. Same characteristics as playing like a 130, 135 gram shaft. That shot was pure. Oh, on the face. That's why it goes a little bit to the right. Go on the face. But still, look at that. Ball speeds up. Yeah.
And I can tell you why my um, club face control is so, has improved so much. It's because that Rick Fur drill I try to tell everybody about, right? That getting turned into torso. Because remember that professional golfers turn their torso 30 to 40% more than amateurs do. So that's not a coincidence. That's actually a fundamental. Ball speed up to 91 with the iron. I knew that was turning a little bit too hard. That's too much right hand on that one. Ball speed's still doing good. Let's see this right here. Horizontal. First hook. And there you go. 12.1 degrees left. It tells you. All right, let's clean it up. So I like my side spin. You know, I like my side spin pretty low, under 1,000. I like spin axis, that number better. Uh, back spin is looking good. Ball speed is really looking good. Club speed looking good. Um, average smash factor, 1.38. Vertical launch, 28, 29. And look at that vertical launch with the old school VIP club, 39. The ball got that much higher with the, um, the McGregor VIPs. Attack angle, not bad. The same number, 2.6. And anyway, I can tell you why that attack angle is a little positive, but that's a secret, you know. But there's something I'm doing in my swing that allows me to keep my smash factor up and have that shot ascended. Now, if I want to bring it here, I could bring it back a little bit, right? And the ball goes a little bit lower. So I work the ball back in there any way I want. So it's understanding your swing. What does that mean? It means the ability to control club face. That's what understanding your swing. Look at that out on the toe. Totally different clubs, and it's all in the shaft. 100 gram versus 138. Last shot was 84. I'm gonna put it back up there where I like it. There you go. The ball's out there. Too much right hand, right? <laughs> So what happens when a situation like that? It could be one or two things. It could be actually, like I said, too much right hand, where the right hand, dominant hand takes over the swing, or it could be the body stalling. Once the body stalls, then the arms shut down, the rate of closure really fast. And I think it was too much right hand, because I know my swing. Fixed it right there. It's not draw, ain't it? Right, there comes up my draw. Now the thing about this right here, you know, not bad right there, attack angle, steady attack angle, 2.5. Now remember, you know, I used to have a negative um, a negative two, negative three attack angle. And I made an adjustment, um, talked to an engineer, a mechanical engineer that actually did his theses on golf. And I've been talking to him for years now. And he gave me something to just give, him, give it a try. And it's been a game changer. Oh my goodness, it's been a game changer. I'm actually teaching to my students now. That's 
putting it all together right there, folks. I'm going to actually release a video on what's happening. I kind of touched on it last week that it's about the target side, what's going on with the target side, and how I, I tell you this, and I know that Hogan is a cult classic, and you know, it's like he's a mythical entity, but his, I wish I had three right hands. I said before, it created a generation of slicers, five lessons, it created a generation of slicers. I tell people, if you're gonna follow Hogan, check out Power Golf. If you look at Hogan's record, the Power Golf years were like some of the best years ever. So I tell people, look at Power Golf and look at some of the things he said in Power Golf versus Five Lessons, right? So again, you know, it's being more in tune with my target side. Should have cut right now. There you go. Taylor shops on demand. All right. And then we're gonna try to hit a. Uh, let's see if I can still hit a stinger. I haven't tried to hit no stingers with this new motion. And it's a new feel. It's a new action. It's a new motor pattern. I'm gonna try to hit a little stinger. Straight as an arrow. There it go. Straight as an arrow. Yeah. A little stinger. Backspin right there, perfect. Cured it. Look at that. Look at all those numbers. 2.7, still the same. Even though I got a positive attack angle that everybody tell you you can't play with, right? Don't believe it. If you're doing something, if you're doing matching it up correctly with the target side, you can play with that slightly positive angle of attack, just like you do with your driver, right? Right? Just like Nicholas did. Nicholas was very shallow. Think about it. Tiger said if he's taking a divot that he's not playing well, right? Let's hit another, now let's hit a draw. Cool. Oh, didn't draw. I felt the, the club face turned in my hand. I felt it. Yeah, but I'm getting warm now. Swinging better. Spin number's looking good. Angle attack still slightly positive, and that's what I'm working on right there. Ball speed is really nice right now. All right, let's do it again. Set up for my draw. Here we go. Come. That should be it right there. And a two-yard draw. So that's another thing with this this new motion. My little three, four-yard draw. It's very, it's kind of vanished. So I got like a one to two yard draw now, which I'm not complaining about. I got a lot more chances for birdie. All right, let's do a bigger draw. Yeah, about a three yard draw on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna change it. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm able to hit, shoot at pins now. 2.6 again. Very steady angle of attack. Anywhere from 2.4 to 2.6. And give me consistency any day instead of having a negative three, negative two, negative four, plus this. I'm looking for consistency and I'm averaging, you know, 2.3 across the board. Last one. Then we're going to hit one more with the VIP. Oh, that's gone. Let's 
smoking about. All right, so let's take the McGregor, right? Which is weird. The McGregor is almost a full inch shorter than my club, and my club is an inch shorter than standard. Oh, no, not really. McGregor was about a half inch longer. It just looked like it was. All right. So here's the McGregor, finish off with the McGregor. Oh, VIP. They look a little upright to me. Look how high that ball goes. <laughs> that ball goes so high. Wow. Attack angle still the same. You know, so that's the key. I want to see that vertical launch. 36 versus 28 with my playing clubs. 36. Wow. Let me square these up a little bit, see if I can bring these down. There you go, brought it right down. That's why I love blades. You can maneuver the ball. All right, that's gonna be it. Much better, launch angle, there you go. Spin, back spin looks good. Angle of attack, 0 0.5. I can handle that. Let's see what the vertical launch was, 23. Only thing I did was kind of square and face up because I played with a slightly open face, you know, like Nicholas did, like Hogan did, Steve Elkerton, Byron Nelson. They played with a slightly open club face. And I kind of mimicked the same thing. You know, like and KJ Choi played with like a slightly closed club face, right? So let's hit a KJ Choi shot. Slightly closed because you got to swing inside to out. Just like that. Again, matchups, right? And keep grinding, folks.